So, want to know how to get started with live streaming? Stay tuned. Hi everyone, Mac here. In this video, I'll be going through five things that you need to have in place to get started with live streaming. So let's start off with number one. It's the software, OBS or Wirecast. I mean, these are solutions that you can use from your computer, either your laptop or a desktop. So that's one of the main softwares. Now, now having said that, we also have the uh, mobile options where you can go live using the uh, YouTube live app or the Facebook and also Instagram does it. The second thing is the camera itself. So there are options where you can use a DSLR camera where you can attach a, uh, an adapter that converts that signal that's coming from your camera into your laptop. Uh, but one of the easiest ways to do it is using a webcam and there's this option for Logitech, which is quite good, very good quality. It's also HD. Okay, so let's move on to number three, the microphone. So here you can actually invest in a microphone like this, which is a condenser microphone. You get much better quality from it, and uh, but it's a bit more expensive and you also need an interface to connect this to your computer. But the other option, there are also other options where you can use, say for example, a uh, Blue Yeti, which is a USB microphone, which just connects directly into your computer or laptop, which is great. But if the worst comes to the worst, you can actually use the default mics that come obviously with your webcam. It won't be as great, but the sound is not too bad. So let's move on to number four. So if you decide to stream using your computer, definitely you're going to need your laptop or your desktop. But as I mentioned before, if you want to use uh, your mobile device, I mean, that's pretty much your standard device, which will have your microphone, your camera, and also the actual device to record. So that's number four. Let's move on to number five. And this is very, very important. So if you are doing live streaming using your desktop or laptop, you are going to need a very strong internet connection. So in order for you to get a very good stream, which doesn't drop out, your upload speed needs to be really good. So you have to make sure that you invest in a very good internet connection. But again, if you're looking at mobile devices, that's a no brainer. All you need is just uh, a good signal and you're good to go. All right. So these are my five things that you need to get started with live streaming. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also do check out my uh, YouTube channel and my Facebook page and subscribe because by subscribing, you will be notified when I release new videos like this. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.